Hi, it's me, Lacrimosa, and welcome to the first episode of the Building Challenges. Today's Building Challenge will be very Halloween themed because the challenge is to build with jack o' lanterns. And yes, it was quite tricky to do. So, first off, I'd like to show you how to use jack o' lanterns for decoration purposes, and then I'm going to show you the buildings I built with this unusual block. But I think I should start by presenting you the pros and the cons to build with jack o' lanterns. So let's start with the pros to build with jack-o'-lanterns. First of all, it's a very good light source that you can either hide underneath carpets or trapdoors, or just have it like as a lantern. It's also good as a jack-o'-lantern, as a decoration basically, because it can make a build look more spooky, more Halloween themed, and that's really cool in itself. And you can also use it as a face, and make a scarecrow with it, for example. You can also have it very easily on survival because you can farm pumpkins, you can find coals very easily, and that's kind of the same for iron, so it really, it's really easy to get. And now for the cons. In the Java edition of the game, glass panes, walls and fences do not connect with jack-o'-lanterns. They do in the Bedrock Edition that I'm currently playing with. But they don't uh, with the Java Edition, basically. And finally, uh, it's very hard to use in a build because the texture is too detailed and it's just not a block that you would actually build with if you had the choice. And that's really where the challenge is. So here's a couple of palettes that I've came up with when I was mm, figuring out what kind of build I would like to do. And so some of these palettes are very like classic, I'd say, but some of them are a bit more weird in a way. But yeah, if you want some inspirations, um, I don't know if that inspires you, but like, yeah. So, I'm going to show you this building first, because it's not made out of pumpkins, but I put so many pumpkins as details in this build. So first of all, you see those little pumpkins as um, used as just like regular jack-o'-lanterns. Then you have a scarecrow here. You can see that the, the house is glowing and it's because there's actually trapdoors hiding pumpkins. So you see, it's just small details like that. Then inside, you have the same kind of thing. You have this kind of lantern up here. You also have carpets. Obviously, you know what's underneath. I've also done this kind of thing. It's very subtle, but like doesn't ruin the view. So yeah, you can see that it also kind of uh, clashes sometimes, but like, it's fine. <laughs> and so yeah, I've used all these techniques and it kind of makes the thing a bit more... I don't know, like, it's better than spamming torches everywhere, right? And now, for the second build, I wanted to show that you could actually do windows with it and I did, I did this kind of skyscraper I think yeah that's what it's called yeah so I did the skyscraper and from afar it kind of looks as if the jack-o'-lanterns were actually like um so yeah uh, I don't know it's the first time that I've actually ever built um, a skyscraper um, please don't judge me, okay, it's really my first time doing this, <laughs> but I think it is not bad. Obviously inside it's quite um, interesting, I guess. Yeah, let's get out. <laughs> it's not the worst interior out of all these three. <laughs> so yeah, and now for this one, I decided to try and do the walls as jack-o'-lanterns. So, uh, you see glass panes do connect, but um, actually 
fences and um, walls don't really connect to it. I'm sorry about that mistake that I've made earlier. But yeah, basically I tried something, okay? I'm not really sure if I like it or not. What I know is, first of all, that the person living inside of this will not need light, like <laughs> no torches, bam, like really, you know. But also, this person will have a nightmare. Like, look at it, it's horrifying. <laughs> it's really, really weird. It's very, very weird. So yeah, here's what I've came up with. I hope you will like it. I hope it gave you some ideas. I know it's not really spooky, but I feel like it does the job. And I, I, I've never seen a video like that on YouTube. So hopefully you like it. And please do subscribe because I'm probably going to do more videos like that in the future with other blogs that are quite interesting. And I would really like your feedbacks on this video and how I could improve it. So yeah, let me know what you think and on that note, have a good day!